My name is Haftis uh, Torstens Dotted. I'm a relations manager in CFL, Center for Leadership. Uh, CFL has been uh, working with Jungian types since uh, the early 90s, uh, basically uh, as a distributor of uh, uh, typology instruments, but also using type in on consultancy. In these 22 years, uh, Jungian type has been uh, a profound part of my uh, professional life. I do certification training, I use uh, JGI in consulting, coaching, team workshops, leadership development. So we might see it's been a red thread in my professional lives for a very long time. And uh, it's a very fulfilling to work with the Jungian type and to work with JGI. The background of the JGI is uh, originally it is uh, developed by two Norwegian psychologists. Uh, two Norwegian psychologists who both have an in-depth uh, knowledge of Jungian type, who have been working with Jungian type since the late 90s. And what they wanted was uh, to create an instrument that reflected mainly the duality of type and also uh, the acknowledgement that uh, type is uh, originally uh, and mainly a cognitive uh, theory. It is about uh, cognitive processes and it's important that the instrument that we are using to identify type identifies this as the mental processes we are trying to understand. One of the things I have learned during the years, basically by working with uh, good colleagues of uh, different uh, preferences, of uh, thinking preferences, the value of taking another perspective, of being able to step back and see things in a, a different light, not necessarily your own personal point of view. And this has been one of the great insights uh, Type has learned me. Looking at the JGI and uh, how it differs from other instruments, such as uh, the Myers-Briggs, you might find that the JGI is uh, basically constructed in a different manner. Uh, and what they wanted to was to create an instrument that sort of in its questions uh, acknowledges the fact that most people can see themselves acting uh, both extroverted and introverted in different aspects and different situations, which means that doesn't mean that they don't have a preference, uh, but they can see themselves acting. So this uh, belief and this acknowledgement is uh, built into the questions. So this is why we are expanding the JTI in Europe. We think there is a room for an instrument that also is uh, acknowledging these parts and of typology and making it uh, more visible that typology is not about getting a stamp or a four-letter code. It's really about uh, having a starting point for your own pers personal development. And this is the beliefs and the thought that is embedded in the JTI.